Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. A little bit of a different episode today. Old Kurt J. Mac got an upgrad, an upgrad to his racing setup. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, you may notice that I uploaded a few photos of a little bit of an impulse purchase, which I talked about in the last episode of Assetto Corsa. I believe it was the last episode of Assetto Corsa, but the Logitech G27 racing wheel is now connected to my desk. Long gone, well, no, it's right over there, but long gone is, is are the days of the Logitech Wingman Formula Force GP, which I, like I've mentioned, I've had for probably almost 10 years. It's done its job well. It's a very simple, plastic, small wheel with only about 180 degrees of rotation in the wheel and, and a very flimsy plastic gas and brake pedal. The G27, however, has 600 degrees of rotation. A separate H shifter, a six-speed H shifter, that means there's also a clutch pedal, a whole bunch of buttons things made out of like stainless steel and it's got flappy paddle gear thingamabobs and actual buttons on the wheel that's one thing the the logitech uh the wingman that i used to have really was short on was was buttons so like when i was playing formula one whenever i changed my brake bias or my fuel mixture i'd be like typing things into the keyboard that i have off to my left because i couldn't reach it over the top of the wheel but regardless uh let me go into the the options here i've pretty much taken uh as you can see in oh am i still recording i don't see the recording thing oh maybe i am but we're going to go back and hopefully we're still recording and uh, I'm going to drive and today, today, a little bit of a weird one, like I said, I am going to try to learn how to use a manual transmission or transmission. I'm going to learn how to speak English, everybody. A is for Apple. B is for Baba Ganoush. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to learn how to use the, the manual transmission the the h shifter here with the clutch i personally have never driven a manual transmission vehicle in real life so this is going to be a, a new experience for for me and and everybody involved um try to pick a color pick a color any color i like the red i guess pearl yeah red red for f speed power all right let's go back we're going to pick the the simplest car to drive, the the Abarth 500, the Fiat. I'm going to select a track. Um I should select a track with some decent straightaways because I want to be able to go through all of the gears, but also, yeah, this is a very simple small track. I also want to be able to, you know, learn how to brake and go into corners. But yeah, like I've been saying, I've never driven a car with uh, manual transmission in real life. I understand the concept. I understand the movements and the order in which you need to do things. But, uh, and obviously, doing it here in the video game is, is nothing like doing it in the real world either. There's no actual mechanical engaging and disengaging of clutches and, you know, you know things like that that actually come up in, in real world stuff. But I assume there's, being a very realistic uh, driving simulator, there's going to be some finagling, if you will. Finding of the gears is going to be a difficult thing for me to do. Uh, and also, uh, knowing what foot to do what with on the three pedals. This third pedal is new to me. I'm, I'm a little bit confused by it. But, uh, but yeah. Today, let us learn how to drive a manual transmission. Woo! Exciting times. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And we are in the, the race here. Well, it's not a race. This is just uh, the time trial thing. I'm not going to be doing a race and trying to figure out how to do uh, automatic or manual transmission. Excuse me. So this might be... Oh my god, tires in my face. This might be... Uh, those tires I don't think will fit on my car. This might be a little bit... This might be the most boring Assetto Corsa video I, I ever put out. But, uh, alright. I've got everything set up there. I... I am in neutral. 
That is my clutch. If, on the lower right hand corner you can see each of each of my pedals. I think the white, there's four bars there. One, two, three, and then the white one. I think the white one is uh, the travel of your uh, suspension. So when that peaks out and turns red, that means you've either bottomed out or you've 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 reached the end of your maneuvering capabilities and and things bad things are happening. So, all right. From what I understand, uh, I'm gonna put the clutch on, <laughs> uh, and I am going to put it into first. Give it. Oh, stall it. Give it some gas, and then okay. We're in first gear, everybody, and we're driving. We're driving! Oh god, I should consider shifting in a second. Alright, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep a nice, steady, uh... Too bad I can't see... ...down <laughs> to see what the, uh... ...the gear looks like in the actual game, but alright. Ooh, that was smooth. And here comes a turn. Alright, just take it nice and easy. Perhaps I should learn just, in general, the the basic principles of shifting gears. All right, I don't think I'm gonna have time to go into third. All right, we're just gonna take a nice leisurely lap here. It's almost as if we're on our morning commute. We're not gonna redline it when we're on the freeway, are we? Oh. Whoop, yep, yep, that was a problem. I should not have, like, something went wrong there. Okay, all right. I've got the first and the second gear pretty well figured out. Third gear is gonna be a little bit tricky because you gotta do kind of that sideways action. Here it comes, I think, after this turn. Yep. Whoop, yeah, I, I need to lift off the gas a little bit more, I guess. Oh, into second. That was kind of weird. <laughs> All right. All right, straight away. Oh, accidentally into fifth. Oh god. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Things aren't working as as intended. All right, what do I need to be in? I'm going like 45, so probably second. Okay, see in there I should have I should have had the revs up already, I guess. All right. All right. Some failures here in the first lap. But I think we're slowly getting the hang of it. I feel like I should have picked a track. God, I keep... I miss third and go right into fifth. There is a little bit of a... You know, it's not as precise. And I sometimes worry I'm going to break the thing. It is just a little plastic... Uh, plastic uh, shifter thing. It's pretty solid construction. It's wrapped in, in leather or leatherette. I'm not exactly sure what. But uh, I don't want to snap the, the gear shifter off in the first day I own this steering wheel. I got third. Third gear. I'm amazing. Alright. Okay, let's try to get up to fourth on this straightaway. Okay, third gear. And... Oh, yeah, that was a little bit off-timed, but... Okay, alright. Yeah, it's really strange. I don't know what to do with my feet. Whoa! Ah, oh, I blew the engine. Sorry. Yeah, I did actually, I should have mentioned before I started that you didn't see this, but I turned on 20% physical damage for such such occasions as these. So I know when I do something wrong, there are indeed consequences. But it's a little bit weird how the, the steering wheel that you're seeing is actually now pretty much one-to-one -one matching. Yeah, there's a little bit of play here, about four inches of play that I'm actually going further than he's going, but... For the first time, you're actually seeing what my hands are doing. So that's pretty... pretty inappropriate, Kurt. Pretty inappropriate. Alright, no. <laughs> let me, uh... You know what? Let me... let me, uh, go back to the pits. 
yeah, they fixed my engine. That's very kind of them. So now, all right, let's be a little bit more. Maybe we should just short shift, you know, keep things well below the red line. Oh, yep, yep, that would have stalled it, I, I suppose. <laughs> I didn't keep the revs up. I apologize, vehicle. Fourth! <laughs> Good lord. I'm terrible. Third, okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, na, 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 na. Just having a... Leisurely drive. Keeping things on the low revs. Trying to conserve fuel. And braking, and third, and second. Oh, God, yep, I overdid that. That sounded nice. And second. And third, okay. And slowing down a bit. And let's try fourth. Interesting. How many gears does this car have? Maybe six. Okay. <laughs> so thrilling. <laughs> We're barely breaking 60 miles an hour. All right, fourth. Let's go into fifth. Oh, I've done that many times already on accident. Oh, I almost missed that gear. Oh, brake! Forget to brake! <laughs> this is absolutely horrifying. Yeah, it's the, uh... I know that there's what's colloquially known as the heel and toe technique, where you kind of heel and toe, like you're, you're on the brake, with your left foot, and then you just... Is that right? Or no, 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 no. You're on your brake with your right foot, and as you're braking, you kind of flick the uh, the gas pedal, is it? While you're downshifting? To keep the rev... You know, to match the downshift? I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, see that? I tried to do something fancy with my feet, but it didn't work. It did not work. Whoops, oh, oh god, Jesus, okay. Sorry. These are all normal noises, normal noises. All right, all right. Gosh, there's a, an intense amount of concentration. I'm probably, I should mention, I'm probably not. Whoops, oh, wrong gear, good lord. And now I'm hitting the clutch instead of the brake? Good grief! I think I need to move the clutch over. These pedals are adjustable left and right if you, you unscrew them and move them around, so I think I need to move the clutch over. I keep confusing it for the brake because it's the same size. Whoops, I totally forgot the clutch then. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, car. <laughs> so sorry, $30,000 car. I'm just totally grinding your your transmission to a fine paste. Third gear, okay. I'm finding third gear a lot better than I accidentally go into fifth. That was probably an unnecessary, bleh, an unnecessary gear change. I forgot the clutch entirely there. It's a little bit forgiving. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I apologize. <laughs> all right, I feel like this track is like a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is watch as I totally embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a, a slightly faster vehicle and get on a track that has more of straightaways so that I can actually get through 
most or all of the gears, maybe? Uh, and we'll try that out, but uh, this is a learning experience indeed. Uh, and I know you kind of, you're not really getting the full picture by not being able to see what I'm doing, but haha, I don't have a camera to be able to simultaneously record that. Is that when I, oh, I was going to say, is that when I broke the engine? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that and uh, we'll be uh, right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I am at Monza, the current day Monza, not the 1966 crazy version. We're still just doing practice, no other cars on the track. I am in a BMW 1M, I believe is what it was called. Kind of a, a more basic car, I suppose you could say. Let's make sure. Okay, it does. I should probably use the clutch when I do that. Let's make sure it has an actual uh, sequential gearbox. If you choose a car that doesn't, that doesn't have an actual shifter and only relies on the sequential flappy paddles, uh, it won't work. <laughs> it won't work at all. I discovered this after two attempts at starting this race. But all right, we seem to be in, in good hands here. The wheel is responding. All right, we have full degrees of motion. Uh, Monza has a couple really long straights, so hopefully we get a chance to really stick it to the man. No, stick it to the stick shift, I guess you could say. Oh god, I've already broken... I've already broken it. I, I don't know that move now. I should try the... there is drag racing in the game. Maybe I should try that out to, to learn how to do uh, manual transmissions. Oh, all right, third gear, where's third gear? There it is, all right, thank you, third gear. All right, I'm gonna take it slow up to the chicane because it's scary. Oh my gosh, oh god, no wait, that's the clutch, not the brake. <laughs> this is going so well, oh. All right, we're in first, that's good. All right, just take it easy here, Kurt, learn the car. This engine is, is a lot quieter than the previous engine. Okay, all right, we're up into third. Uh, into fourth, very nice. Ah, uh, let's just stay there until this turn. And breaking, 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 third. Ah, uh, second. Probably should have been in first through there. Could I, I could just like go straight from, oh God. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm a terrible driver. Uh, Alright, I didn't even get up to speed to need to slow down for that turn. That's fine. Alright, now after this... Well, I should have downshifted there maybe, but who knows? Alright, now we can put it through its paces. And... That sounded like a good shift, if I do say so myself and do. And... Oh, I almost missed that one. And braking, 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 braking. Not enough braking. And... Alright, right in the third. Just skip all the other gears altogether. Alright, now here's a straightaway. And... Fourth, that sounded normal. Let's try to get the fifth. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have time to get the fifth. Ooh, that was smooth and sultry of a gear change. All right, now here's the main straight. We're gonna accelerate out of the turn. The shift while we're turning, maybe? No. Ooh, that sounded gross. That sounded gross. And... Fifth. It's nice that you can... His hand moves to the... To the gear lever. Oh. Whoops, I messed that up. His hand goes to the gear lever, and that's kind of the symbol like, Ah, you should be shifting right now. Nah, I waited too long for that one. I gotta be more smooth. Smoothen it out, Kurt. I feel like I might need to start 
wearing shoes in general. No, in, uh, while playing these racing games. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I, I, I was looking at what gear I was in without paying attention to the turn. Oh, that was unnecessary. Oh, that felt bad. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't... With the old uh, racing... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. With the old racing wheel, I... Uh, like I mentioned, it was... Oh, no, 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 no. Just put it in neutral and, and pray to the Lord. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm trying to talk and do this all at the same time. I'm so sorry. Your first gear is, like, non-existent. Uh... With the old racing wheel, the pedals were just very flim-flammy and plasticky. So I would wear socks, so I can actually feel how much I'm pressing them down and actually get a good feel for... for the, uh... for the, uh, the way the pedals... which pedals I'm pressing. With this, uh, the G27, the the gas pedal's fine, but the brake and the clutch are incredibly tough. Oops. And uh, I'm I'm starting to feel some strain in my in, in my knees and my my calves. And uh, so I feel like I might need to like wear some shoes, which I wonder if that's going to affect. My, my driving, and certainly uh, myself and Beef already have the next Formula One race recorded when I was using the old wheel still. So after that... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh god, okay. Oh, I've, I've hurt the engine. I'm so sorry, engine. Be good. I might have lost that gear is what I might have done. Alright, well, I should be braking, I should be braking, I should be braking. <laughs> this is so hard. Uh, so, obviously I'm not going to be racing with manual transmission anytime soon in Formula One, but I do wonder how my performance will be affected now that I'm using a completely different wheel, uh, it's a different size, it completely feels different. The pedals, as I've just been mentioning, are, are entirely crazy and completely different ha huh. and, and and I don't remember if I was if I finished my thought but I started to say earlier that I don't think oh god I don't think I'm going to be uh racing uh for let's plays anytime soon god I really suck at going whoa Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 that is something I'm not used to. Did I break the engine? No, it still works. Ah, the wheel, it ripped out of my hands and started spinning upon its own accord. All right, I'm just gonna do a lot of short shifting here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, this is very distracting. And as you can tell, I'm, I can't keep a thought straight in my head and do this all at the same time. Maybe if I, I were better at it, perhaps, and it became second nature, but I am, I am having a hell of a time and I'm starting to worry as to whether or not I should even upload this video because it's absolutely the worst. Oops, accidentally into sixth. Sorry. Hey, I went into sixth, everybody. Even if it was accidentally. So, this is a, a rare and... Oh god, I didn't break in time. I didn't break in time! Alright, alright. So, so yeah. That, I, I don't... See, I don't even remember where I was talking about that. But things, things happened and my mind was taken away. Oh, I almost missed. Fifth gear is hard to get into. Let's just go into sixth. For good measure.
Oh, I... Oh, bup, bup, bup. Okay, I'm going through here now. Whee! Something that is strange. I suppose I can illustrate this to you. Uh, how do I do it? Yeah, reverse is kind of weird. With the the G27. Where are these pylons? Whoa, there's one. Uh, the, uh, it's not, like, to the right and down of sixth gear. It's actually, like... They didn't take the time to 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 create that part of the the shifter. You actually have to push the knob down. I don't know that that's normal entirely. Is it normal? Is that normally what uh, going into reverse gear is all about in a in a sequential shifter? Um, you have to push in, just like in a on a PlayStation uh, controller. You can actually push in the thumbsticks. You have to do that and then go exactly where sixth is, but you're pushing in. That's not, that's not usual, is it? I don't know, like I said, I've never driven a manual, but let's try to do a J-turn, because why not? Oh god, oh dear, not... Not, oh, sorry. I, did I break it? I didn't break it. Yeah, I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm trying to get back to the pits, because <laughs> I'm terrible. It's also a little bit weird because the shifter uh, actually pins to the desk in the same way the wheel does, so it's really close. And uh, U-turn, it's really up in your face, so it's almost like it's a I'm driving a semi truck here <laughs> instead of uh, you know a sports car. It's down on the floor maybe, but uh, not that I would technically know the difference from any real-life experience, but... How do I actually, like, go into the pits if I want to, like... Do I drive into them? Hi, guys! Uh, you might need a new transmission and car and everything. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what a disaster of the highest proportions. Oh, man. Terrible, terrible excuse. <laughs> Let's watch. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. This guy's like, oh, God, I... Uh. It's like uh, somebody stealing a car that has a manual transmission and doesn't doesn't understand what's going on. I right, just want to go into drive. Uh. Which I suppose is a, 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 a reason enough if you are to purchase a car and you want to make sure nobody's going to steal it, get a get a manual transmission. They're less likely to steal those cars. <laughs> find it. Find the gear. Oh, this is going to be bad. I can feel it already. Gah. That sounds absolutely horrible. This is embarrassing. This is completely and totally embarrassing. That guy's like, why are we even here? This guy's not even gonna make it around the track once. This engine's gonna jump out of the hood and just say, screw it, I'm done, I quit. <laughs> oh man, pretty terrible. But anyway, uh, this is Assetto Corsa. We're trying out the, the new Upgraded racing wheel setup uh, that is now part of the Kurt J. Mack offices, the Logitech G27 wheel. I promise in the future these 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 videos from Assetto Corsa should be a lot more more interesting when I keep the automatic transmission on and I can just concentrate on, on racing. So so look forward to those perhaps if if this video was not completely of your liking. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time.